Police say this little girl was riding her bike on her street around 5.30 in the afternoon when she was suddenly forced into a stranger's car. That neighbor, thankfully, springing into action. Stay right there. Stay right there. You're watching police body camera video of the moment a six-year-old girl was rescued from her alleged kidnapper. Hello. It's okay. Come here. It's okay. Police say she was riding her bike when witnesses saw a man grab her and throw her into his car. Parks his car, middle of the road, gets out, uh, picks up a little girl off her bike on the sidewalk, throws her bike, throws her on the passenger seat, and he just, you know, takes off. Neighbor Prentice Weatherford hopping in his car to pursue the suspect, only stopping when he saw a police cruiser and provided them a partial license plate number. Well, as I'm watching it, you know, it, it felt like my stomach would just, just fell. I had to do something. <laughs> Thanks to detailed descriptions of that vehicle, officers were able to locate the little girl within 10 minutes. You see your hands. Hey, what's your exact location? Hands. Sergeant Joe Keeling quickly arresting 40-year-old Robbie Wilt. You feel that fear that the child probably has in them, and you just you want to get to them as quick as you can and remove them from this situation to try to limit the trauma to them as much as you can. And luckily, we were able to find her pretty quick. Officer Jason Burba taking the young girl out of the passenger seat, carrying her to safety. We were glad we were, you know, there to get this guy off the street, there to get that girl safe, because if we miss this opportunity to do this one, it could be, you know, our child next on the bike riding the streets. Experts say this could have easily been a worst case scenario, if not for the vigilance and fast action of strangers. That's the reason this child is home with their family safe tonight, because the public out there, they saw something, they said something, they did the right thing. They sure did. And police say that that little girl was unharmed. She is now, as you heard there, back home safe with her family. The suspect has pleaded not guilty. Guys. I'm so glad there was a happy ending in that story. Okay, Ariel, thank you so much.